<clears throat> Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard the I'll be your Captain Leland today along with or tonight. Are you some first mate here at your service? <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the new side game that we'll be busy with probably for one or two streams, I think. Uh, Brothers, a tale of two sons. Uh, but before we continue on, I see a new, new little, a new little name there in the event tracker. Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, I'm a flanker. That's the person we uh, raided last time. Oh, <clears throat> how sweet! Uh, yeah, should so... probably go give him a follow back for that. Yeah, probably should. And yeah, we, <clears throat> we tiny streamers should uh, stick together and support each other. Yeah. Anyways. I'm playing this with a controller, because it's specifically designed for one. And yeah, we showed this game off a while back on Showcase Sunday. So I don't think there's really much to that we can add on with that. So... Well, like, I, think, I, think, I think that was that long ago. I don't know if that was right after New Year or before New Year. Hmm. It, it's probably been removed by Twitch by now, but I can take a quick little peek because the... Recording should still be on my computer here, and we are using game capture again, so I can actually look around on stuff without, well, be <laughs> accidentally showing stuff that should not be. Uh, let's see. Uh, it was actually the, yeah, it was the 22nd of January. So, yeah, just a, <laughs> a bit over a week ago. If the counts on this are correct, so yeah, year, months, yeah, then they, because it's set in the Canadian style on OBS. Wait, a week ago? That, wait. Yeah, a, a bit more than that, like a week or two-ish. Yeah, I would say two or three weeks ago. Yeah, it says the 22nd of January, and it is now the... Uh, let me tell you, it's the 1st of Feb February. So yeah, not too long ago, at least. Huh. <clears throat> And we should be able to do another Showcase Sunday, well, this Sunday. So, let's get started with this one. Nayi! Nayi! Ta! Ata Nayi! Ata! Okay, we'd seen that before, but uh, yeah, I, I just, it deserves the dignity to be uh, witnessed silently. Uh, yeah, 
I agree. Especially since if it is after all the first ep full episode of it. Yeah. And something I actually missed the last time that we uh, not that we showed this is that she actually you know, the ghost of his uh, mother actually kisses him on the forehead with little sparkles at it as well. You missed that? Yep. Uh, yeah, we control each of the brothers separately with one of the either the triggers, uh, well, with the triggers and the control sticks on either side, with the big brother on the left and the little brother on the right. And yeah, we're going to have to make them cooperate quite a bit to actually get stuff done in this game. It's, it's basically a single player co-op game. And yeah, the little brother is not strong enough to pull this big thing. But the big brother is. So, you get into position. Wait, you grab on the. Come on, grab on as well. <laughs> Don't just command your brother around, jackass. Okay. Just gotta get their father over to the apothecary. And. Neither of the two can jump high enough to get up here, but we I think we've seen this trick done in media countless times already. So yeah. Just yeah, really in games up. though. Well, except for cutscenes perhaps, but real as a mechanic. Okay. Let's see. Actually, there's me. I think they've played a few games where I feel like. I, 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 you kind of should just be able to just push each other up a cliff or something like that, like here. It almost said you were going to say push them off a cliff. <laughs> I, I realized that as, as well uh, when I said that uh, some are going to be stunned standing there. <laughs> but yeah, one parent already gone and the second on the way out. Uh, these two are not lucky at all. Yeah, that will be our quest for this game, to find a cure for our father. Yeah, uh, for, for, for a moment, uh, Lost I thought he was a priest. He could be dead uh, as well. Uh, no, I think he's an apothecary. Sort of stuff. Yeah, I think he's an apothecary for it did not look like a search church for the building. And also, <laughs> uh, the last time we did the, the showcase some of this, I was pondering why To say is, I realize why there were constructions on our way here. Yeah, they're either for wildlife or raiders or something. I may <laughs> also realize there's a, there may be another reason for it now. Oh, no. patience. You you could exactly roll up a cart uh, over stairs. True. Uh, for Moda, I thought you said pa you know, patience, but no, you meant patience. <laughs> and, and 
Yeah, this jackass is getting in our way. But yeah, it, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. So, it's, it's probably, it could be a mix of all three. Since it would protect a uh, someone in a wheelbarrow when you transport them over. True. And yeah, we use the... <clears throat> We use the triggers as basically our interact buttons with anything. <clears throat> like grabbing onto stuff. And with the... Oh. Yeah, rotate the camera. And there's some hubbaloo going down... Downstairs. But that's not where we're headed. Uh, but yeah, those rocks that we climbed... Oh, accidentally broke something. Uh, yeah, we were just, they were just grabbing on with the trigger and then holding up and then letting go to make them jump. And well, grab, <laughs> pressing the triggers again to make them grab onto the next rock because otherwise they'd probably just fall back down. And it is possible to die in this game, I'm pretty sure. Oh dear. Uh, so what the heck did you walk over? Jen cheese? <laughs> uh, I think those were vats of something. And here he goes again. Dumbass can get twiddle stick or something. The big brother can't fit through these, but the small brother can. So, uh, let's sick the dog on this jackass. <laughs> I think his stick just plain vanished there. Wait. I don't know what breed that is. Like, is that a puppy or a full-grown, uh, whatever it is? It sound, it sounds a bit young. <laughs> it, it looks like uh, one of those Jack Spaniels or something with the long, yeah. floppy ears. Yeah. No. Don't forget, Hillian. Very small dogs are really loud. <laughs> True. Yes. So they can be very annoying. Yeah, especially Chihuahuas, since those those tend to do be very loud. Yeah, I actually met a Chihuahua. He was very shy, sir, but he did try to get caught to cock with me. And I just looked at him and stared at him. And he stopped. He got, it was not whimpering. And he just, he just went to hide away. It, it, the owner it had quite a chuckle <laughs> over it. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, th this game is really simple and also very small, like only 1.34 gigabytes. But it still looks great, if you ask me. Very great. And that's a good game size. Especially for considering how short it is and nice looking it is. Yeah. Okay. Now, we need to wake this guy up, because he's the one <laughs> who can reach the control or the lever for the bridge here. But, uh, yeah, he just ignores the big brother. Uh, the little brother, he has a bit of a different approach. Uh, yeah, that's one way to get woken up and told to do your job. Anna, when Hardy. Also, I totally want one of those uh, rollout scrolls. The one that the, the brother is using, with just this, that the scroll is rolled up inside the tube, but you can pull it out through the, a bar on the underside. Many do, Helium. You're not the first. <laughs> yeah, they are just a real fantasy stable, aren't they? And yeah, we can ask basically everyone with this thing. I interrupted it there by releasing the trigger too soon. Okay. Is there anything the little brother can do? I'm hoping he's not going to smash her vase there. 
Uh, that is <laughs> that is a bit sweet. Okay. At first, I got word he wasn't to tree per over. Nope. <laughs> okay, we can play ball. Is that? Hmm? Is that a basketball hoop? Yep. <laughs> I keep mixing these two up like this. I'm, I'm going to try and keep them side to side. Uh, let's try with the big brother first so we can just... Oh. Okay, just helping a bit. <laughs> these are good kids. <laughs> a little jackass. Uh, also, I took oh. a look through the achievements. Apparently, you can, you can get an achievements for throwing the ball in the well up there. I'm not going to do that, of course. Yeah, that, 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 that feels mean. <laughs> okay. Let's continue on. <laughs> okay, that was a scroll for a moment. I thought there was two little things set together. <laughs> Can't go that way. But we can go this way. It will clean my glasses. Okay. <clears throat> need to use... Well, need to have them both pushing to get this one open. I'm guessing the hinge needs to be oiled. Okay, <laughs> the artistic qualities of a blind cat. That doesn't sound too bad. Uh, yeah, this one uh, sounds a lot better. Uh, oh, now I see what is going on. A fudimente old man. No, he plays pretty decently. Yeah, I can see due to, well, my glasses was not on. And now I'll bring my, all my glasses uh, case? Or, what, what do you call these little boxes you keep your glasses in? Uh, just a, a case, I think. Uh, a spectacles yeah, brought, case would be the official thing, probably. Yeah, I brought it over since it might have my silk toss in it. Well since. Right. Right. See? No use yeah. with him. It says, let's say, are you showered today? <laughs> uh, too strong for him. Probably good. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Uh, let's say, is. She says, show today, that means I have a little problem. Like, your glasses are fogging up like all hell? No, no, I showed this morning. So that's not it. Okay. More of. Uh, I don't know if this counts as too much info, but I have dandruff coming from my eyebrows at times. Yeah, okay. So you can see why I brought over my little silk cloth over here for the stream now. Yeah. For otherwise, I had to turn around, push the chair. So it is a bit tricky to do. Put an over, so I'm just gonna have it here now. Yeah, I probably should clean my glasses as well. And yeah, as is obvious, we need to hopscotch between these side to sides. And we can lure the dog over like this. And yeah, I have no idea actually what these are. I'm actually, oh, they're covered hay bales. Okay. Oh. But it does make sense. We do not notice. Just I've never seen any depiction of the uh, people in the eight times do that. Well, it would make sense that people would figure it out eventually because wet hay is uh, not good. <laughs> I forget. Maybe you should tie the hay up, 
then store them in a silo and such. Yeah. Let's see. I'm keeping my out, eye out for some things I saw in the achievement list. So we can give those a shot. But I, I'm hoping not to be slowed down by those too much. Since I believe this game... I originally finished this game in two and a half hours, I believe. According to the Steam uh, count, yeah, time count. Which isn't always too accurate, I'll admit. Yeah, since the, it may not uh, count uh, for... May include, rather, the time where you pause the game to go and eat or something, or go to the bathroom. True. Let's see. I remember one of the achievements being a bit more vague, and pushing up, letting go, grabbing again. And, yeah, if I let go, they just drop. So, up, up, and up. Oop, almost missed. <laughs> Okay, I recall one of the achievements saying something behind the curtain, so I'm guessing there is going to be something hidden behind a waterfall. Perhaps this one, though I don't really see how we could approach. Wait, is it about the bird there? Yeah, there was one related to birds. Okay, birdie is not interested in him. <laughs> Someone's going to be miffed with us. <laughs> no, 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 Helian, no, 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 not miffed. They're gonna be pissed. Okay, getting pointed somewhere again. Now, what are you going to do, you little dumbass? Yeah, let's go before we end up on the end of that pitchfork. And I try, I think he's trying to make sure the thatch and hay is tightly packed. So I think he's using the wrong tool. Oh, I, there's an achievement with these bunnies, and I think I've figured, I already figured out how to get that working. Because it says to get the bunnies to play nice. And, well, they're not liking the single white rabbit. So what if... It, well, that also works. <laughs> A bit more direct. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Bunny buddies. <laughs> okay. I have to say this right away. Never lift your bunny buddy ears. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For the same reason you wouldn't want to be lifted by the ears. If you're gonna lift them, go for the neck collar like a cat or something, but not the ears for... Depend on the body. They will remember it. <laughs> and they will hold a grudge. Yeah. Okay, simple replacement puzzle. We can't cross the bridge without someone running in the wheel. So we just have to go find someone to replace... <laughs> to run in the wheel for us. So... Yep. Okay, it actually works the other way like that as well. Uh, for people wondering how I know this... I didn't do it! Someone else did! Yeah... And, and a, lot of, uh, that a lot of small rabbit children would have to have Wait, what? Yeah, in media and such, you often see rabbits getting lifted by the ears, like the Looney Tunes and such. So it's about, small children would be a lot more... Uh, yeah, a lot more you know, likely to grab a rabbit like that. Or just because mm. they want to feel the ears. Uh, it was not a child. I it was an adult. Then. For the bunny had a run upstairs where she was not allowed to be. And she was very stubborn about being captured, so they ended up grabbing her by the ears. Okay, that makes it a little bit more understandable if they at least moved the grip somewhere else. And they... Uh, yeah. <laughs>
I'm not the the. So? Da, yeah. It's an easy guess as to why our troll friend here might be uh, a bit depressed. So he yeah. has uh, two seats, two sets, two beds, yet one troll. Yeah, loneliness can kill as easily as the sharpest blade. Yeah, there has, I have heard depressing tales. Like, oh, this is sad. Uh, let's see, let's remember the details. Someone was, I think, 24 years old, was found dead in the apartment. And the, the only reason they found her was the landlord said I haven't heard from her in, in days and she was late with a payment. And they, they got inside and they found her dead, sitting in a chair, in her sofa, with a Christmas gift in her hand to herself. Yeah. I did want people, it, it is sad. I think, if I remember, I think she was, I forgot if she was the last in her line or all the other regulars were extremely far away or in a different country or something like that. But still. Yeah, keep up with your relatives, people. Or because you might not uh, have them for long. Yeah, not only relatives, just friends in general for, she didn't even have friends. Oh yeah, let's focus back on the game, and yeah, down there is where we met the harp player. Bridge and the flow. And a harp player? Oh, yeah, the music from earlier. Oh yeah, I was wondering, wait, there was another harp player up here? Uh, no. Yeah, it is exceptionally kind of this troll to help us, even though he has no real reason to. The, why you say that? He, he might actually have a lot. I have already feelings that the, the game is deeper than you expect. No comment. I can tell it directly from just seeing how they do the game. I can already tell there's going to be a lot of joy, but also Again, also a lot of sadness. And yeah, as much as people would want only the first of those, it would lead, it would lose its value without the other. There is no light without dark. There is no dark without light. Damn true. Damn true. And yeah, once again, we're going to get Whoa! chucked. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what the original Im images or imagery was with trolls, but I do re like this uh, take on it. Oh, there comes many variations. I think they, they were beginning just very big and all that, but they started to come, become uh, more and more varied that they came in different types. And even, even they were the ones to be magic in the beginning. Okay. Hence, like, if you hear the term troll call or troll kvinna, it's basically mean, basically is an old term for a uh, magic user. Okay. There's 
So we claim to have learned magic from trolls. Hence the troll title of the name. Okay. And there's... We even have another term is trolla. This is basically called uh, doing magic. It's a magic. verb. <laughs> and here we go with the water again. And yeah, as was obvious last time, the little brother can't swim, so he has to use his big brother as a raft. Yeah, oh, I should also clarify, Trolla also has a new meaning in modern Swedish, which is, well, trolling. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I, I'd, hazard, I'd hazard a guess that this would be a hill troll. Um, or a cliff troll? Hill or mountain? Yeah. Either way, he can't follow us further. So thank you for your help, and see you whenever we see you. And now the pair are on their own again. Hello. Oh, we know who can fit between these. There we go. Simple enough. Now, what the heck did we stumble upon? So, swap around. Yeah, this is so dwarven. The question is... Is it abandoned? We'll see. It is partially collapsed, or at least not maintained. Now, this one looks pretty shiny. Okay, that looks very dwarven. It has the little Viking knots, or Norse knots, I think you should say. Yeah. And it's a thing that are called knots. Hmm. Are you trying to say knots? Yeah, not yes. I, I think I, <laughs> a bit less. I think I made a bit. I think I made some oddly swinglish there. <laughs> yeah, that's a new term instead of English, Swedish. I, I told you about this before, swinglish. It, 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 here's a game that is very guilty of swinglish. You may have heard of it. Skyrim. Um, yeah. Like. They say house call, but it's whose call? It's well, whose means house, but still they just replaced one Scandinavian word with an English one. Yeah, <laughs> I, and, I should again start with that game. And main as apparently, and I, I'm neutral to it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Uh, every time I try to mod that game, I just end up putting so many mods into it. The, the testing of them all takes so freaking long that I lose interest again by the time that I'm halfway through testing them all. Almost buying it, but I was more and more realized and learned that it, that it wasn't very integrated well with Workshop on Steam. I had more and more lo quickly lose, lost interest in trying to buy it. Uh, most people that I'm aware of try to mod it with uh, the mods from nexusmod.com. Yeah, and that's the, the uh, issue. I prefer modder. to use uh, Steam. Since I don't trust myself to use uh, go to another site and do uh, all the install and all that. Or dig into files. Okay. Now, we jammed this thing up. Get you off of that. Yeah, yes. this this is either dwarven or gnomish, but the style I saw earlier it looks more dwarvish. Oh, I see. I, okay, it would make sense not to go swimming in the rapids, and just cross this thing instead. Much yeah. safer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that's another blended. thing in Skyrim that is swinglish. Folk reach. Okay. Folk is falcon. Yeah. 
And yet the emblem is a stag. I don't know why that's a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, what do we... Hmm. If we do that, then that half comes out. Is it going to stay? It better. Then we do this one as well. Just give it a nudge. And then let's go across before we find out, find out if it's temporary or not. <laughs> also, how the hell would you open this up from the other side? Actually, you could probably just jump down into the lower area, but still, for basic traffic. Trouble is, people are standing there. And I would not be surprised at that it's supposed to stay there <laughs> all time, except for some moments where you turn it off for a night or something. Yeah, for defense. And now we're on the underside of this thing. Do you see underside or other side? The other side. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. But it's something like you said underside. I thought, wait, what? Uh, I could have misspoken, but still. Let's grab onto this. And there we go. Oh no. I have a flashback. Did oh, you be flashback? You know I played to the War Warhammer, correct? Yeah. One of the factions that are dwarves, there's a faction called Sufbar. And I, for years, been confused by the emblem, wondering, is an axe? No, it's a book. No, no, it's not a crossbow. What is that? Then only last year, before New Year, I fi it finally dawned what the symbol was. Oh. Two mountain peaks with a waterfall between them. <laughs> okay. And hello. Okay, this place might not be as abandoned as we thought. Yeah. Uh, only reason I realized that was for... I was finally realizing, oh yeah, Sufor is also known as the current gate. For they use water power in that place, just like here. And Hello, fishies. Who wants to be dinner? <laughs> it's... Wasn't there another path, or was that blocked off? Let me <coughs> check back. I, I was expecting this to be a side thing or something for an achievement. I would not be surprised if it is. Let me check. Oh, wait. It might still be abandoned. Just... I can we soon see if those are dwarves. Excavators. And they look like trolls. Or it could be a case that our, you know, our dwarves are different sort of thing. That the dwarves here are troll-like. Yeah, though it, it could also be, since it looked very decrepit, that uh, someone has moved in to try to salvage. True. Another one of these. Get into position. So, let's be honest, if you find a Dwarven Ruin, you know the quality Dwarves make, if there's anything left behind there. Yep. Okay, now you grab on as well. And now we're just going to have to go for a ride. And yeah, definitely more than just one going on there. You down. Hey. Okay. Now, what are you going to do? Oh. This. Okay, that opens that up for a bit. Whatever that might be used for. Maybe it would cause cargo to drop off. Maybe. Let's not accidentally walk off the edge. 
Okay, grab on and go. Yeah, so so Mechas it might be to grab whatever it is supposed to transport them and tilt them tilt them to empty out. It could be. It looks like they is supposed to connect to something between it. Okay, drop you down. And oh this is just a simple as that. Okay, careful not to drop either of you. Yeah, I'm curious why the trolls are here for... They clearly did not build this. And if it were dwarves, they would have tried to repair as much as possible. He's got to be paced for a little bit. Well, at least repair if they are trying to plan to recolonize or something. Yeah. Okay, grab on. And off you go. <clears throat> there we go. Enough reload. Enough reloading for the both of you. <laughs> it's oh, time come to get on. <laughs> yeah, this this looks very much like a quarry with how some of these stones are cut. But if it is, there is probably have a boom. Well, it would make sense to have a lot of quarries and mines, since, yeah, you know, dwarves. Yeah. Very masterful with stone. If it can't be crafted, it can be dug out and made. Yep. <laughs> now, where is this going to lead us? Conveyor belts? Uh, no, oh, no, that's the water wheel from before. Okay, make some space. They are very strong in their arms to be able to make jumps like that. I, I, actually, I'm not sure the term jump would be correct for that. Sure as well. Yeah, Dwarven Keep, Troll Mines. Yeah, now I'm me. Wait, 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 wait. Stand still. Are those? You see what I'm seeing? Yeah. Are those supposed to be. Prones in shape of dwarves? I don't think you know, you're supposed to be able to sit on them, or too much at least, because there's already this here. But yeah, those are. <laughs> those are probably supposed to be. Yeah, uh, the actual dwarves. Yeah, uh, oh, someone in the chat. Yep. Hello there, big trucker. How are you doing? And, uh, but I thought Mustafa was a planet. Why would it, it have stone already? <laughs> what? Wait, what? I'm drawing a blank on whatever that's supposed to be a reference wait, to. Wait, hold on. Is it Mustafa Star Wars? Yeah, that's with a, a U, not a double O. <laughs> <laughs> Are you making a cow joke or something? Well, so let's get off this thing quickly. Before that happens. Okay. Just bonk. And ragdoll off. Okay. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, yeah. I hope you're doing well, we have big trucker. Things going well over there on the roads. <laughs> they both go. <laughs> okay. I think we are on a small time limit there with that. So let's see if the third if the third time's a charm. Okay. One. There we go. <laughs> Junk flying everywhere. What have we here? Okay, better hold on. <laughs> yep. 
Oh, crap. Run. That, that looks very much more designed for a troll than a dwarf. And there we go, save. What the? Uh... Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> Pardon? That one does definitely not look friendly. If we try yeah. to do this... From Big Trucker, never read Star Wars or guess his own spell length. <laughs> Subtitle for the win! Okay, they won't go too far apart, it seems. <laughs> Let's see. I'm hoping a dealer will respond quickly and the vehicle will be as good as I hope. Okay. Getting some new wheels. Ooh. Probably best to avoid walking on those. Because it looks like not all of the trolls here are as friendly as the, fr the one we found outside. Okay, come on. Yoink. Keep a hold of that, please. Cave trolls that have uh, taken residence here? Could be. For, oh, yeah. It's also popular that whenever a dwarven stronghold has been abandoned or forcefully abandoned, all the things want to move, to move in. Yeah, and cave trolls are prime examples of the people who will. Okay. Set you free. And now what? She is injured. Hey, Maru! Sh shut up, you. <laughs> well, we're in trouble. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can't even sneak through there anymore because they locked it up. Actually, I think I know how we can. It'll be a si yeah, this Ooh, out almost. Okay, he can't climb up here. But since uh, we can s slip through, and his arm can slip through the stone. Ooh, too soon. Too early. Okay. And there we go. <laughs> yeah, she probably got hit by a club like that. Quite a... Oh, hello. <laughs> Thank you. And let's see. Uh, my current has almost 300,000 miles. Oil and coolant, rough idle, and is blowing smoke rings from the exhaust while parked. And it's just uh, and just going to work a 70 miles round trip. Okay, yeah, that would be a very good reason to get a new ride. Oh dear. Yeah, I, I hope the one you're you're getting it turns out as good as you hope it'll be. Or better. Yeah, at the very least, it's going to be e it's going to be hard for it to be worse than the one you currently have. Um, big trucker's getting a bigger trucker. Bigger truck. <laughs> okay, now we pull that back. And move it over here so we can cross.
let's see, a hundred miles, I believe a mile is about one and a half kilometers, or 1.2 or 1.6, I keep forgetting which of the two it is. So, yeah, just going to work would be a hundred kilometers. <clears throat> Back and forth uh, over here. someone. He's a big boy. Okay, so about 1.6-ish. Let's see. We pull this. Nothing happens because that thing is locked up. Unless he needs to step with... Oh yeah, we need to unlock it. And we need to make him headbutt it. Or the chains. Yep. There's a nice visual extra the fire goes out actually. Yep. So oh! That's why the dwarf statue is designed that way. They're supposed to have brazers. Yes, that's how it's pronounced. Brazer. The eye is silent. Okay, now we gotta lure him over the thing. Let's see, are you dumb enough to go charging over it while it's open? Wow. Yes, you are. <laughs> bye bye. Oh. Poke. 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 Double poke. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> it gods. By the gods of Valhalla. Well, I can't help it that oh. the troll has sensitive hands. He's happy again. Bovar. That won't look like the face. getting worse. I don't think that's a wolf. Yep, yeah, not a normal wolf, that's something else. 
Yeah, wolves are already are big, but these are even bigger than wolves are supposed to be. Yeah, and I don't think wolves' eyes glow red like that at night. They are more different colors. I'm seeing yellow. Uh, uh, um, oh. Well, that's a trigger warning added to the episode. Like great wolves, dire wolves, or just giant wolves? Hmm. That does sound like a, a good a good one for you to get, Trucker. That will keep you going for a good long while. Wait, what? You, you recommend him to get a giant wolf instead of a truck? All right. Yeah, that That'd would be definitely sight. be interesting. <laughs> hey, but... if Grom the Ponch can be a giant goblin being pulled by three wolves, I'm sure they can handle a truck. <laughs> but yeah, I'm more speaking about uh, the mileage on the car that he's getting. Or car would be an understatement, I guess. <laughs> And also, I recommend you to maybe watch a lore video about Grom the Ponch sometime for... That's some... Interesting goblin. Isn't he in uh, Warhammer... Uh, Total Warhammer 3 now or something? Yep. He arrived in the second game, if I remember right. Okay. He was the first green skin to ever reach the Highland Elves' lands for an invasion. When Hadi Ari, okay. Yep, it is immediately on the move. Bit of a waddle to him. Do you have an interaction with him? Okay, he's asking about the lantern. Of course, he's not going to give that up. He probably needs it himself. Yeah, no. Right, uh, yellow. But all damn big. Lanterns? Wait, they're... Are they still chasing them? I can't see wolves, at the moment at least. I'm more focused on trying not to get smashed against rocks. Yeah, what's more of a foot? I heard it. Right, let's see about Grom Cross. He, he, beside me, the biggest goblin. This, you know, the green, the green skin of Warhammer grew bigger than what they kill? Mm, I thought it was just with age, but I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, it's, it, the size depends on the, well, a bit age, but also more on how mu much they fought. Okay. How about Grom Drapon's? Accidentally cheated in a way. Okay, did he eat some sort of gross mushroom or something like Super Mario? Or of, um, he ate troll meat raw and the meat tried to regenerate okay. in his stomach. <laughs> so it was a battle between the regeneration and his stomach, and it was a result of him growing bigger and bigger and bigger. Hence the name Grom the Ponch and the biggest oh, oh, goblin. For he, he is a massive fat bastard. Ah uh, crap! Uh, oh. Oh uh, crap!
the Time me? That's one way to react to a life or death situation. <laughs> that was random, man. That was not... My reaction was... He survived. I was just to say... I was saying relief. Then came the burp. Oh. Uh, there it came. I knew this thing was for... S Okay. Do I ever? What the heck are those? Ah, uh, we can lift this up. I'm guessing those are evil ants or endlings or something. Rev Revenant trees yes. or something. Yeah, you just gotta dodge them. Must be keep moving side to side, well, not side to side, more to the side. Hopefully a point to a point where these things are not. Oh dear. Because, yeah, wood or not, a swipe by those claws would hurt a ton. And I'll well, probably just knock him loose and kill him. Yeah. Yep. Uh, or that. Particularly predictive tree. They didn't want to capture him, they just wanted to, to kill him. Now they do say that's. Come on, grab him. Okay, I'm pretty sure it was getting close enough. Come on. But yeah, you know the stories about spiteful spirits and such in... There we go. In you know, graveyards and such. Uh, then, yeah, then it might be tree raids. Like, rapes possessing trees. There we go. Not going to set a la not going to need a to set out a lantern for you tonight. Yeah, yeah, we are not in good health. Did you hear that? Yeah, what? What is that? The beside me seeing it. Uh oh. Oh yeah, they are they are tripping balls. Something else, ain't it? Maya? My Uma. What? Nai, Eno, Nai. Uh, 
A rough time, yeah. Uh, yeah, what you might have missed beforehand, Trucker, is that uh, these two are, are out on a quest to get, find a cure for their father, who is dying of an illness. The... That makes it understandable why you want to do that. Yeah, no, not on a good option still though. No, don't, don't do it. Let's see. Bloody heck, this key is both beautiful but also depressing. Dear, oh dear. Hello. Something survived the fire. Ooh. Stop getting in your each other's way, boy. I. I heard something in the stands, and then. You can talk to him. <clears throat> I think now he just needs to have some time to his own. And well, I tried to with the little brother, but uh, yeah. ah, all right. Atta. Not the time trucker. <laughs> oh dear, tr trucker. <laughs> Okay, that's a bit high. Oh, these Too are supposed sure. to link together. This one oh. has the fangs, that one has the hooks. Yeah. Oh, I guess the other one extends to be able to catch it. Yeah, and I'm guessing we can grab onto these. And they're okay. windmill powered. Gotta time this right and go. Oh, holy! Yeah, don't try stuff like this in real life, people. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the background there is where we were with the troll earlier.
There we go. This is a clever design. Hmm. Maybe not yeah, perfect, you, but... Yeah, you would definitely need help from the other side to get across. So even if you have, even though the mechanism is on both sides, uh, invaders wouldn't be able to get in unless they got someone across. Yeah. I feel like that many of these people went very invented to keep, well, bandits and what else out. And holy, that place has certainly seen better days. There's something in the leftmost window there. I can't identify it from this distance, but it's definitely bronze or copper colored. More towards copper. Possibly. And also Helium, no. Yes, no. <laughs> no to what? You may not keep the tower. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to build my own then. Well, you, you technically are in Minecraft. And yeah, I really should finish up the big machine design I have for that sometime. That's sound again. Is that supposed to be a copper mirror or something? Sound it. Oh no. I hear something in the background and I realize more and more that it's not a bird. Hopefully it's just these goats, but I'm only sure of that as well. I did not expect that. Okay, <laughs> we've got mounts. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yeah, we need we need to use these goats to even get moving here. We'll uh, leave an IOU <laughs> for the herder. Yeah, that would be an interesting find. Just a stone tablet with uh, IOU written on it from the Stone Ages. Holy! <laughs> yeah, don't mess with the mountain goats. Yeah, for one, even if you are higher up than them. They can basically scale sheer cliffs. If if there's like eighty nine degrees, a goat can can climb it. Hey, on a horn. Sorry. I think we might have found who is behind all of these mechanisms. Yeah. Actually, can the little brother carry this? Okay, he is strong enough for that. Probably doesn't weigh that much, but can he jump with it? No. But he can toss it. <laughs> How rude. Not only are you stealing goats, but you left the gate open so the others can escape too. <laughs> yeah, we probably should have closed that, but I, <laughs> they were having a bit too much fun with it. Okay. You carry this one again, and then chuck it across. The way the toss it looks a bit on weird, just. Oh, yeah, it's over already, at least. Okay, get you up ramps. I'm not exactly sure which way I should be. Turning these, so I'm just turning them in and out at the moment. It seems to be working all the same. Okay, someone has quite a nice place. Really? 
rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> okay, let's be serious again. And Gesundheit. Thank you. I can't tell if he's short or supposed to be a, a gnome or something. Okay, let's have a little look around. What is this here? A device. A construction. Let's see. This is going to be a bit annoying. Okay, you can move this around. And if I do this... Wait, is it he? Has he been making the sounds? Possible. The, it's like what? an instrument of sorts. Uh, sounds like an instrument. Yep. <laughs> okay, the old man still has some vigor in him. Oh dear. Relative yours? No comment. That's a yes. <laughs> and oh, no. we have a regular little uh, Da Vinci on our hands here, huh? Let's see, there's se definitely something in there. Hmm. It must have been a big bridge whilst that was whole. Do you see anything different? Oh, it, okay, this controls with the, the little brother's control stick, no matter who has using it. Now, this is typically the aiming uh, stick, so that makes sense. And, uh, yeah, time to test out this thing, then. I guess not, it had a dragon head, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a cutscene, but I'm not going to let go all the same. Oh. No, it's not a cutscene. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we know that. Oh, dear. Oh, wait. So we... Do, don't you need to talk to him after you play the music for him? Yeah, let's give Maybe that a I... shot. He might uh, have some info... It doesn't really speak. It, well, they speak, but we don't know what they say. <laughs> okay, that was pretty much the same, I think. Basically, using per asking for permission to use the thing, I'm guessing. <laughs> so, what is supporting this? It's just sticking out quite a bit. <laughs> Jump to flap. This isn't Flappy Bird. I hope not. Oh dear. Okay, we can move side to side. Let's change the direction a bit. Or quite a lot. There. Okay, each to one end to balance things out. Actually, more like that. Because, yeah, they aren't the same weight, of course, so this thing is rather imbalanced. This way. A bit back. So worried that something has this as a territory. Way. Like, I, I'm not gonna imagine that this looks like a perfect spell for a dragon 
Det er jo rig, han... Øhm... This does not look good. Dodge that, I think. So we're not aiming to land on it. And again, I think we aren't aiming to land on much at the moment. Is this where we need to go? And now these two are tied together even more, quite literally this time. Oh no. <clears throat> that, that, this a... usually ends badly. Yeah. There we go. And you to that. And... There we go. Phone big trucker, you broke the great pigeon folly frown. <laughs> who? Well, techni technically, it was the pigeons who broke it, since they went through the, the wings. But are those even pigeons? <laughs> I'm not sure. All I saw was white bird. Okay. Careful. Oop. There we go. And yet more. There we go. Well, yeah, I don't know what that uh, pigeon Farley Frown is supposed to be referencing. Yes, I, I feel like I heard the name, but... I think I heard the name, but I have no image or picture to go by. Hmm. Okay, jump and go. Yeah, that's a size... Oh, let's go back a little bit to see if you get the camera. That is where we started from. <laughs> we have gone a really big distance with that thing. Also a little visual glitch, but oh well. Uh, oh, the big trucker. Play on a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Okay. I know. Who hmm. the heck is Charlie Brown? It's a, a comic character. Uh, oh, wait. Is, is, it, is it a kid in a yellow shirt with a white dog with black e ears? Yeah, Snoopy. Quickly. I think we called him something else in Sweden, but I don't know what. I never liked them. But I found them always boring. Well, we're... Uh doing quite well with all the architecture we're destroying. The... Your father must be so proud. Yeah, I think he has bigger concerns, like the fact that he's dying. Oh. There we go. Wait, uh, wait hold on. You, you, you made the game characters. They, they, they're dads. <laughs> yeah. Oh, full of... I meant your dad! <laughs> okay, now you let go and swing up to this one. Yeah. I know it was meant for young children. And I saw it as a young child, even then I found it boring. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, 
obviously the, we need to head for that plank, but is there anything hidden around here? No, there is just a bit of a view. And a big ass drop down. Yep, let's not get stuck. Okay. Gotta be a bit careful. Okay, nice. It shows... I noticed a little bit of this before, but it, it shows silhouettes when they're behind architecture. That is always nice with games to do. Yeah. What the... Okay, we... <laughs> that might explain a thing or two about why all of this is so big. Wait, what does... Do you see something I missed? Uh, you might want to look inside. Yep, swap them around those... so we don't have to twist our controls around. Those are some... Uh... Oh. Uh... Oh. Uh... Oh. Yeah, I saw the stairs and everything makes sense now. Okay, don't get too much of a distance between each other. Okay, wait up. And we're not going that way. We might not have to deal with a giant dragon, but we're definitely going to have to deal with something giant. Screeching! Also, there's a game that came out recently uh, that has similar gameplay to this part with uh, the rope and all of that. A co op platformer, I think. Emperor, a griffin, or a goose? No, not a goose. <laughs> Someone has been here somewhat recently, though candles yeah, this size could probably burn for a year. Yeah, no. Uh, all right, here's the thing, people. Don't leave you home oh! with candles lit. Like, <laughs> that's how it. fire starts, and holy. It's some <laughs> big books. I hate to be the. Uh, they put them near the windows, stupidly enough. Miss Major won't feel sorry for whoever the book lands on. And yeah, this looks like a hippogriff. And an injured one, from the looks of it. Also, a relatively tiny one. Actually, you can squeeze through these, can't you? Hmm. Oh, yeah, pretty hurts. Can this one even fly like this? Pretty small hippogriff. I think you're forgetting. You're in a giant room. Of course, it's gonna look small. 
No, just in general. Let's see. Oh, now you can squeeze through, huh? Okay. Up. And up. And then across to that... Uh, hmm, what would you even call that? The, just a pulley or something? Sure. Okay, how are we going to get to this? Or are we going to just lift the thing up? Okay, we need to get him across as well, but he can't get over this. Hmm. Okay, how do we get the other one there? Come on, slip through. There we go. Wait, do you both need to push it away? I don't think he can push it aside. I think but they both, both need to be hanging from it. I meant, I meant like uh, pushing the other case down with both characters. I don't see anything for them to grab onto it. Really? Yeah, it's the a bars, cage. Yes, but, <laughs> but in the <laughs> game's logic stuff. Plus, if we do that, he's just going to look at it and... <laughs> Cause his brother to fall down. Oh. Let's see. I'm hoping we're not going to get stuck on this. Because I don't really see a way of getting the big brother over to it. Maybe. Let me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that glitched for a bit, but we just to jump up and grab onto him. And yeah, that that's was just not, way too small. That's not a hippogriff. It is a griffin, though. Now, Griffin. You really want us to... I swear, when did owl griffins become so popular? So I think this... Okay, so it is going to fly like this. With the amount of wounds on it. Um, yeah, if you if you're going to get a bird of any kind, give it a a cage that is big enough. If it's big enough, quote unquote, for it to just sit in and such, then it's not big enough. Thing. 
At the very least, it dies out of captivity. Can we just take this feather along with us? Uh, this game is filled with the both the good, the bad, and the sad. <laughs> okay, where are we now? I'm seeing structures, but also vultures. Oh. Well, that explains why the griffin was abandoned in there. If if abandoned for the canvas was still lit and all and well, these corpses still look fresh. Yeah, when arrows are the size of ballista bolts and swords the size of walls, yeah. I realized those vultures are huge. Bigger than a condor. Well, looking at what they have to feed on. I'd say they are more than well fed at the moment. Let's see. Send you up here. And what can you do here then? Oh, I see. The previous branch that we climbed on bent. So this one will as well. There we go. Now let's move before this thing snaps. What the hell happened here? At least their body is... The, the, their thing is a damn sh ship pole. Oh, the more reason. When I took a tree and trimmed a little bit and prepared... Wait, there's massive feathers on it as well. You gotta wonder then what the kind of birds they get those from. Oh dear. Now that doesn't look ominous at all. Uh, oh no. Look look at the water. Yeah. A, not literal river of blood, but close to it. Another one to push. Come on! I did not expect that! <laughs> I'd completely forgotten about that. Uh, yeah, let's get out of this. There's enough blood in there as is. Oh, there's a bench here! I'm 
guessing there's an achievement for sitting on like each of these. You mentioned that in the first uh, stream of the... Wait, what? How did he die? Uh... I think we know how he's going to... Well... <laughs> get killed again. Or at least moved out of our way. Oh dear, I remember... One of the Da Vinci's schematics was of a ballista of this size. Never got built, as far as I know. Yeah. I see. We need to pull this thing. Wait, wait, never mind. I remember the one Da Vinci made, uh, made schematic was big, bigger than this one. Yeah. What the heck? Let's see. Is that open the path? Is there something over this way? And this is a dead end. Okay, but what if we... See? You get a shot. He doesn't have enough uh, lung capacity to blow it. And yeah, this is an old battlefield. How old is hard to tell. It's at least not it long enough for decomposition to fully set in, unless these bodies decompose very slowly. Hello. This is back to... They don't look very eaten, since the vultures have only just begun to eat on them. Says if they've been here for a while, well, there will be probably been bones or more, much more eaten by them by now by the birds. So it has happened re very recently. But I hear voices. And now it's a literal river of blood. Oh no, poor bastards. I know there's the term drenched in the blood of our enemies, but this is ridiculous. Okay. Looks like these people are a bit more primitive than the others around. Yeah. If From the, uh, the truck you're here, almost said ice road truck for some reason. Maybe I was. No rigor mortis, blood is still red and not co coagulated. Yeah, I agree with you. It must have been within hours. Yeah, For if it was, I think it would have been noticed by the locals. Speaking of... I think this might be a more understandable version of a blood cult going on because if you're if the the water is flowing through your temple turns bloody or well completely to blood, that might be a good excuse for taking it as a sign as a well your god demanding blood. 
Crazy did notice something happened. killed us if not for this uh, quote unquote disguise speaking of <laughs> we run like hell pretty bright they and again neither are those if they can't open a door like that or climb over one Those are massive candles. Yeah, not <laughs> as massive as the giants is. I pray those are not made for giant earwax. Yeah, these two are going to have quite the story to tell when they get back home, huh? Yeah. Pretty sure the four will uh, make sure they never leave again. <laughs> and never again get sick. Okay. Simple steering. Where the hell have they ended up now? Excellent! Mm -hmm. What the heck? Yeah, here's the offshoot of the Blood River. Or, not the offshoot, where it ends. Yeah, we've ended up quite north. Beaches. Uh, please don't let that in. Okay, uh, what is that in the water? Uh, wait, there was something in the water. Yeah. I just wanted to say, please don't talk to be anything in the water. Then I heard the sound. <laughs> what the heck is that? Like an orca. Mixed with a an octopus. Look like orca mixed with a angel slug. Yes, that's the thing. Angel slug. <laughs> he just pops up right before us. Okay, is it actively targeting us? Yeah, and this is why Helium does not. And they had a mild phobia of water he can't see through. Yeah. Because, well, the, the logical side of the brain says it, did something or somebody get snatched there? The logical part of the brain says that there can't be sea monsters or such underwater. But, uh,. Yeah, then the reptile part of your brain goes, nope, 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 there are, there are, there are, there are, get the fuck out, get the fuck out, get the fuck out. Yeah, for when you, especially when you're on a ship, you just look in the sea and you just look at it. It's hard not for your brain to go run wild. Okay, are there more of those things here? Yeah. There is one over there. There's two of them over here. It, it looks a bit like an orca. Ooh. 
mixed with a manta or something. There's three of them. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, that got close. There's another one behind us. <laughs> but there was some kind of whale just... Evolution went wild with these. Good show, by the way. Evolution is wild. Oh, wait. Fusion is wild. And turn this stupid little thing. Uh, who's? Just how far Do north have we ended up? Do these guys get bigger? Uh, sorry, what? Just how far north have we ended up there? Because <laughs> this is starting to look like a North Pole or something. Like Iceland. Which ironically is greener. In Greenland, whilst Greenland is icier than Iceland. Yeah. Do we also have volcanoes and even have a desert? More of a greyish stone desert. It's apparently getting swarmed over by some vegetation. Okay, gotta be careful, we're dealing with some light ice physics. Come on. There you are. Okay, catch up for a bit and... Hello. There's something else here, wasn't it? The... Giant ice turtle? Wait, why are you not... Yeah, help it! Oh. Uh. Come on, grab me on this... Uh, Ritz. Okay, just <laughs> be a little jerk then. Okay, there's another one here. There we go. Uno, dos. Let me guess, there's going to be a dress. Because I can still see, or not see, I can. St yeah, there we go. I could hear that one. This little trick. How the heck did they all end up here upside down? Oh, rather on the back. Good question. Uh, there we go. Couldn't move for some reason. <laughs> the things people do to try to uh, win a mate. I'm guessing that's... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that, that's to the ritual, probably. Because <laughs> I don't think either of these two are interested in the turtle. I guess it would make sense for a layer of ice to form on a shell like that. Yeah, it kind of looks like a depiction of Nessie, as I saw a documentary a while back. Okay. But they were trying to figure out what Nessie could be, and they wanted to figure it was, it could have been a giant long necked turtle. Because it could explain the bumps, but they were trying to figure out why it would have a long neck, and it would probably. Do it disservice in the cold waters of the Loch Ness. Yeah, 
Ooh, someone got unlucky. Wait. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Someone's being nervous. Hold on. Yeah. And she doesn't like him. Those were standing while working. Uh oh. Yeah. Some sort of blizzard must have hit this place, like, extremely suddenly. Extremely coldly, like... I'm not sure if it's passes a blizzard, even. And it's not a natural one. Yeah, I get... Hmm. Seeing... Actually, there's walls over there, so there is a town. As he was nervous. Uh, he was nervous with her. I am worried if there's a ice dragon. Okay. Now, before we chase after her... Let's see if there's anything else here. This is very obviously a logging camp. But, oh, hello. We were going to miss this one. And this view. Let's both sit down. And I think that's where we... Uh, rode through earlier. Okay. <laughs> That's new. Now let's clamber on over and uh, see if anything is alive on the other side of this. Okay, more from a uh, trucker. You got them chasing a girl. Well, more, yeah, I did not more following that. back her back to her home, I'm guessing. Wait, what is that stick? That's supposed. That's an arrow. Okay. The f other hell yeah. happened here. Yeah. yeah. This is not a regular blizzard's work. Nope. Trolls. Th this was a siege. Yeah. And someone stopped it. I went a bit overboard. Did someone? Overdo a spell, or did they anger an ace dragon trying to have a nap? Okay, this is totally a good idea. And that's the stream timer going off, but uh, let's send <laughs> the little brother in before we do that. Oh dear. Uh, wait, they have handlebars. They were met. It was designed to throw people. Yeah, it would be a way to get uh, people in into the walls. But let's see if uh, the defenders won or not. Oh, great. A magic yeti 
Yep, from the looks of it. And <laughs> that would probably be a perfect spot to cut this off, but let's see until we hit a checkpoint at least. Which is signified Oi. by the little turny thing, uh, turny circle in the upper oh, no. left corner. I missed that. Yeah, it's been happening really quickly each time. Uh, come on, get on you. And yeah, this place, well, if, if it has something like that running around, you could probably expect that there isn't much. Well, I stand confirmed. The attack invaders. She can jump. And Okay, here's the thing I'm forgetting. It, it, it attacked both sides during an invasion. Or the town got attacked first. And they tried to get it out. Whatever it is, it has poor eyesight. Yeah. Bloody hell. yeah. Yeah, it's really that it assaulted an invasion of stock of sides in a brutal manner. Gaia. Or they have tried to retake it. They just did not go well each time. Uh. Quite the view. Again. Yeah, and uh, looks like a quite a nice town. If it weren't for the well, everything. Uh, what's going on here? Get into position, you. Freeze is its victims to preserve them for food. I'm going to take a get. Oh, there we have the little save thing. So let's double check if that is a checkpoint. Okay, just a little bit further. Okay. Yeah, that'll be where we'll cut it off for now then. Yeah. <laughs> Quite the game, huh? Yeah. Bloody heck. It has a lot without using actual... Well, wait, okay. We don't know if they actually use an actual language or not. Most likely not. Hmm. We are knowing if it is an actual language. They just... She was to not translate it for whatever reason. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to finish this game in the next uh, stream. Uh, I have late shifts tomorrow and the day after, but the weekend is clear. So, yeah, we can do Showcase Sunday. And should we do something? Uh, let's see, on set, let's see. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah. On Saturday, should we take a rest day or shall we finish this off? I, I, I'll be up for finishing this off. Like, I say this for weekend, we can do two streams, but not double streams. We avoid double streams this time. Okay. <clears throat> because, yeah, Saturday we Saturday and our Sunday. Quota with this. Uh, uh, sorry, what did you say? Uh, we've hit our quota for this week with uh, two main games, uh, two main streams, one side stream, and we will have to showcase Sunday as well. So yeah, uh, Saturday afternoon or evening, we'll see when, or when I have time, or if I just even wake up in time, uh, we yeah. will finish this game. <laughs> yeah, I like this so far, even though it's... It does hit hard a few times. Yeah. For now, let's move on over here. And Exit also, uh, you, you may want to check the chat. 
Yeah, let's see. Uh, she's going to, you know, she's totally going to end you. When you she doesn't need your help anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if she gets eaten first. Then again, I won't give actual spoilers since I've already played through the game. We're now yeah, but you seem to have forgotten a bit. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, it has been quite a while since I last played it, so I am missing details. Uh, for now, though, let's swap over the screen share on Discord over to the browser so we can go raid someone. And let's have a look. Who is online? Let's see. Chaos D1 is streaming Chained Echoes. Can't say I've heard of that. Let's... Uh, yep, site is muted. Then we have the Armchair General who is streaming Final Fantasy XIV online. I haven't seen them in a bit. Uh, Digital Hazard is streaming Yokai Watch. I've got that, but I, I haven't really fin... No, I've I'm pretty sure I haven't even gotten through half of the game because I'm not too good with the mechanics of the game. Okay. Uh, you have fun as... Well, it's work, so have as much fun as you can at work, Trucker. <laughs> good luck. Good luck, Trucker! Then we have Derpy Doo, who is streaming God of War. WBPL76 is streaming Persona 5 Royal. Tikaskir is streaming Shovel Knight. And Smoops Under Nonsense is playing Oxygen Not Included again. And the last two are Rococo Prouffe, who is streaming The Simpsons game. That is a bit of an old one. And Halloween 4545 with the Dead Space remake. So I think... I'm not really sure if remake is the correct term or more a remaster. They have changed things. But yeah, that, that's that's another debate with the sliding scale of what is a remake and what is a remaster and all of that. I it, I showed up and it was a actually clear definition about what was what was what, but it does feel like it, people have started to ignore what they're supposed to mean and they return to be very confusing again. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Any of those sound interesting? Uh, the. In the recommended channels, we have Iggy Maid streaming Hi-Fi Rush, of which I'm hearing very good things. Lucian V. Ghost is streaming Batman Arkham Knight. Okay, not Knights. Uh, then again, that doesn't have the Batman part in front of it. Um, let's see. Talisman Digital Edition being played by the, the Snakerer. <laughs> okay. Uh, Reina the Mouse is streaming The Legend of the Goon. And there we have Bella Blum, Blum, I keep messing up their name, who is again streaming Mech Warrior. And Agent Number One streaming Dwarf Fortress. I think we've seen them in the recommended before. Yeah, I think so too. Hmm. Okay, either Oxygen Not Included or Dead Space. Uh, let's go with Dead Space then. So I'll just pop over to here, copy over the name to prevent any spo <laughs> that, 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 spoilers. That's, not spoilers, not typing. You said, did you say Dead Space? And not not Dead Space. Oh, <clears throat> <It's>... all right. Let me show you then. <laughs> okay. It seems that someone has gone online in the meantime. Positively Pollux with Arcade Spirits. I think I know them by through someone else but i don't fully remember because again once again my memory fails me but we already picked uh the author to go raid so slash raid and paste but before we start that of course thank you everyone who has been watching now or later and uh, thank you big trucker for chatting along for a bit and i hope things will go good uh, will go well at work for you and thank you as always Dick here you're welcome as always my friend and let's see, I'll need to double check if I have work next week, because on the 8th of this month, we will have hit our second stream anniversary. Yeah, and apparently you thought it was in, in spring, and I always felt like, no, it must have been earlier than spring. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now that also means that hmm, last year... Uh, I was still using the, or at least attempting to use, the green screen. 
Yeah, I'll have to double check when we started exactly with the VTubing, but it should be close to a year about now, at the very least nine months, I think. Yeah, we, we did the green screen longer than the VTubing. Yeah. Actually, uh, hmm? I remember now, you started the VTubing around when you got uh, this job. Uh, a bit before, I think, when... Let's see. The, uh, hence why I said I around, in... like a little bit before. Okay, it might have been April with that then, because I started the new job in May. Yeah, so hmm. th that one is probably soon one year in May. Uh, yeah, but let's keep count of just how long we've been streaming about, or at, at least how lo since how long you have joined in on it, I think. That's when we marked the stream anniversary, I think. Yep. Mm. We should no, now take a look at the eighth, and not in spring. <laughs> uh, yeah. For now, though, uh, yeah, we'll see what we will do for the stream anniversary if I can even manage to get anything d set up in a week or so. Um, maybe some multiplayer stuff. Maybe another long stream. We'll see. I'll take some suggestions from uh, people on the Discord, even if it's only a small group of people. <clears throat> All right. But for now, let's start up that raid. And let's see. Yeah, it is going. No raid, single person raid protection. Some people have that. Can't blame them. Because, yeah, assholes and with spam bots and such. <clears throat> or they will raid like hate raid thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for now, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and hug an otter.